Welcome back to another tutorial. Ready to up your 3D game? Today we are going to reveal some top-notch Blender tips and tricks that'll turbocharge your workflow. These tips are about to make your Blender journey smoother and snappier. Let's dive in. Kicking things off with something you absolutely need to nail. Normals. These guys are crucial, especially for game design. Checking them is a breeze in Blender. Just hit up the overlays and toggle face orientation. Seeing blue, you're in the clear. Red faces on the other hand need a quick fix. Pop into edit mode, select those rebel reds, and hit shift plus N to recalibrate. Voila, you're back in the blue. Little added bonus. To make those incorrect facing normals appear more apparent, head over to your shading dropdown tab when in solid mode. Turn on back face culling. This nifty feature hides all incorrectly facing faces, making it super clear where you need to make adjustments. While you're in this section, feel free to play around with other options like shadows and cavity. These can really help make your models look sharper or easier to view. Moving on to insets. These bad boys let you finesse faces and edges with total control. Pro tip, always apply your scale first for even insets. Dive into edit mode, select a face, hit I, and then it's all in your hands. Or just type in your desired dimensions. Want to spice things up? Hold control while insetting to add a bevel or bridge two insets for a sleek hole. Oh, and hitting I again toggles between individual and merged insets. Neat, right? Next up, the mighty bevel command. Select your edge in edit mode, and with a quick command B, control B for windows, you're off. Drag to adjust, scroll to segment, and hit P to play with the profile. Messed up? No sweat. Just type 0.5 to reset. Easy peasy. Here's a little known gem. The forward slash. This nifty shortcut is your isolation mode toggle. Select an object, hit forward slash, and bam. It's just you and your selected item. Press forward slash again and everything reappears. You can do this with multiple items at a time by holding down shift and selecting the items you want to isolate. Talking about isolation. Do you have merged objects but need to tweak just one part? Enter edit mode. Hover over the area you want to select and press L. This will select all the faces within the previously independent piece. Want to clone it to get the original back? Shift D, hit enter, then P, and choose selection. Now you've got a standalone copy. Ever feel lost navigating your project? Your camera can sometime limit the zoom, and you can feel like the center pivot you're working on has shifted. Simply use Shift C. This is your compass back to center. It's like hitting the reset button on your view. Super handy for when things get cluttered. Need to change multiple of the same materials quickly? Try the selecting similar shortcut. In edit mode, select a face where the material is you would like to change. Hit Shift G and choose material. Instantly, every face with the same material lights up, ready for a makeover. Here's a biggie applying all modifiers before merging. Merge without applying, and things can get messy, like this. To avoid this, select all the items ensuring you have one of the main objects active, right-click your selection, hit Convert to Mesh, and join them with either a right-click, Join, or the good old command J for Mac or Control J for Windows. A quick vertex cleanup can do wonders for your game assets. Overlapping vertices are like digital dust bunnies. You don't see them, but they're there. Here we have a chair, all looks good, but we have some hidden and unwanted vertices. To merge them together, go into edit mode ensuring vertex is selected. Press A to select all vertices, right click and go to merge vertices and distance. We have now removed 336 vertices without affecting the mesh. And finally, let's look into a handy feature, camera to view. When you switch to your camera view, you have the ability to maneuver the camera just as you would navigate in your viewport. This is a popular feature, but for all those who don't know it, go to view on the side panel, use N as a shortcut, and then check camera to view. It's a seamless and efficient way to ensure your camera is perfectly positioned to capture your masterpiece from the ideal angle. And that's a wrap on our Blender Power Tips session. Have any questions? Or is there something specific you'd like to learn next? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I love hearing from you, and I'm always looking for new ideas for future videos.